Hello everyone, I'm Mike, and today we are starting the new segment that you all requested in the survey, editing your photos. Let's begin right away with the photo sent by Shiva Shinoi. Let's start by evaluating the photo as a whole. Overall, I see a very beautiful photo, but unfortunately, it has some technical flaws. I really like the light on the building, but if it's a light you created, I would have illuminated this area as well. As I mentioned, the photo is technically flawed because it is very noisy. I would have taken two different photos, one as it is for the sky, and another with a three or four minute exposure at low ISO for the landscape. But let's try to work on it anyway. Let's start by adjusting the exposure to add some overall light. We'll increase the shadows to open up the histogram, lift the blacks a bit, increase the contrast to close the shadows slightly, and adjust the temperature. Now that the photo is opened up, we'll fine-tune the exposure and make other small adjustments to make it perfect. The initial idea is to open up the photo as much as possible and then refine it. Unfortunately, there are no precise parameters I can recommend here. It's largely a matter of visual judgment. Next, we'll maximize the temperature of the primary blue to saturate the blue channel. From the HSL panel, we'll decrease the saturation of excessively saturated colors. Now we open the photo in Photoshop, open Neural Mask Pro 2, and select the Blacks Mask to work on the blacks. We open the layer created in Camera Raw, set the exposure value to minus two, contrast to minus 40, highlights to minus 40, shadows to plus 40, whites to minus 40, and blacks to plus 40. Now we reset the primary blue saturation because there aren't many colors in the shadows. We open it in Photoshop, and we can notice how Thanks to the Blacks Mask, we have targeted only the shadows, making them pleasant. Now we reopen Neural Mask Pro 2 and create a Whites Mask, mask it, open the layer in Camera Raw, and adjust the white points a bit. Lower the highlights a little, increase the exposure a bit, adjust the temperature, increase the whites while being careful not to burn them, Lower the saturation of the red channel a bit and increase the saturation of the blue channel. Now, open the layer in Photoshop. Select the whites mask created earlier, open the curves tool with CMD plus M or Control plus M and raise the central point to increase the curves exposure and broaden the range of effect. This way, we can notice the changes applied to the whites without affecting the blacks. Merge everything into a new layer and open Astro Panel X Pro V2. Click on Haze, invert the created white mask, and now use a brush to paint over the Milky Way. To make it easier for you to understand, I merge everything into a single layer. We go to the Astro tab, click on Dynamic, invert the white mask, and do the same work as before on the Milky Way. Click on Remove Cast Green, invert the white mask, and brush over the nebulosity of the Milky Way. Click on Dodge and Burn Pro. Invert the white mask. And here as well, brush over the Milky Way.
Now open Neural Mask Pro 2 and create a new Blacks Mask. Next, go to the Adjustment Layers, click on Solid Color, and choose a slightly saturated black with a blue tint. Set the Blending Mode to Color, move the Black Mask onto this layer, and click OK. This way, we've given the shadows a pleasant blue tone that helps to mask some of the noise while focusing the eye on the light areas. Create a new exposure layer and slightly adjust the offset to open up the blacks a bit. Use the burn tool to brush over the weaker lights to enhance them slightly. Don't worry if you leave halos, we will mask them later. Go to Neural Mask, select a Light 3 mask, and click Apply. This way, we have limited the changes to the lights only. Merge everything into a new layer, go to Camera Raw, and open the masks. Select Sky, adjust the exposure, add a touch of clarity, a bit of saturation, and fine-tune the color temperature. Return to the basic adjustments, increase the blue luminance, and shift its hue towards warmer colors. Click OK and go back to Photoshop. Create a new layer, select a mid-2 mask, Click Apply. Fill the layer with white. And set the blending mode to soft light. This way, we have added brightness to the photo without affecting the highlights. At this point, the photo is finished, within the limits of what the photo allowed. I also thought, in addition to sending me raw files for editing, you can send your edited photos to the email yourphotoap at gmail.com so I can give you feedback and advice. See you in the next tutorials where I edit your photos and remember to subscribe, activate the notification bell and comment as this is very important for us.